Mandy. Hi. Holy cow, how are you? Oh, I am really good. I got to the point where I was totally and utterly on fire for God. She was not only involved in her church, but she brought it to her school. I went to the school board and I got it approved for the um, Meet You at the Pole, which was um, praying. praying at the around the flagpole. Oh, no. That's so cool. A prayer gathering. <laughs> right? And, and I got the first Christian club. In the that sun. school? Uh-huh. Awesome. Wow. Incredible. Even before the accident, I knew that something was going to happen that I knew not to be afraid that I was in the palm of God's hands. So you slid on the black ice? Yeah. And then your car and went over into the like ravine. a ravine. So where she fell in the ravine isn't an area um, that you can really see. Like if you're a car passing by, you couldn't really see if there was anybody down there or she was out of sight. Somebody who was driving behind her um, must have witnessed something and they ran down to the fire station and told them there's been an accident, there's a car in the ravine, you know, somebody needs help. Send help. Um, so of course, um, firemen, police all went out there and they had to actually use the jaws of life to get Mandy out of her car. Wow. And then a local um, TV show found out about the accident, heard that it was somebody um who had seen her and reported it to the fight to the fire station so um the reporters of the show or whoever was in charge of the show wanted to do a segment on it so they went to the fire station to try to find out who this guy was and nobody knew nobody can even recall what he looked like or she looked like like nobody remembered anything wow. so um to this day even after you guys attempted to find him too, right? Yes. Nobody, the guys never come forward or the girls never come forward. So we're pretty convinced that it was an angel. An angel. Wow. Awesome. That saved her life. Whatever tells you you can't. <laughs> <laughs> her mom said that as soon as they got home she started uttering words so my goodness what is one thing you want to do before you go to heaven what is like one thing that you have to have done i want to reach others maybe through um via Skype or whatever. Oh, gotcha. Like we're doing now. Hey, well, this is really good practice. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Mandy. Father, I thank you for the friendships that have been created with her, the blessings, Father God, that, that are present with knowing her, Lord. And I know that you love her beyond measure. In your name, amen.